I really wish I knew a lot of things before starting a YouTube channel. Yo, it's not so easy. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Letty and today I'll be sharing with you the things that I wish I knew before starting a YouTube channel. So if you're new here, please make sure that you subscribe, leave your comments down below. So without wasting any more time, I will go on to the first one, the first thing that I wish I knew before starting a YouTube channel. The first thing that I wish I knew is that um, growth on YouTube takes a lot of time it takes a lot of time don't think that you're going to start a youtube channel in one month and after one month you're just gonna blow up yes there are people who are very lucky there are so many people who are so lucky they can just post one video then they just blow up they already have so many subscribers thousands of subscribers out there but for most of us it takes a very long time yes also if you have a large following let me say on instagram facebook twitter you can encourage your followers to come um, and subscribe to your YouTube channel. But for us who don't have a large following on social media, who are not well known on the social media streets, it's so, it's so hard. It's very, very hard. So all you just have to do is just to um, keep on posting your videos. There are a lot of people who use YouTube every day. There are billions and billions of people who use YouTube every day. So the right followers, they will come to your channel and they will come and subscribe. The second thing that I wish I knew is that YouTube is just a recycle of videos. You know, you'll find over 100 people posting the same thing, the same video, same information. And there's, there's, there's nothing wrong with that. It is absolutely fine. So you don't have to be like, be worried and say, ah, this person has already posted this video, this, 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 that. No, I just post. All you have to do, you know, your personality has to shine. Um, your editing has to be more nicer. That's just, and there's nothing wrong, just, just post it. <laughs> and the third thing that I wish I knew is that hey, YouTube takes a lot of time. Editing takes a lot of time. Um, to research, find information takes a lot of time. Let me just say YouTube is just a full-time job. It takes so much time with the editing. But with the editing part for me, I enjoy editing. I love I love the, the, the shooting video process. I love to edit. So the editing part and shooting videos, it's just fine with me, but it takes so much time. It really takes a lot of time. So you should be prepared if you're planning to start your YouTube channel, you should be prepared that you're going to like take a lot of time in editing, in researching, finding information and all of that. So that is just it. And the fourth thing that I wish I knew is that consistency is the key with YouTube. You have to be very consistent so that you can be a friend to the YouTube algorithm. And you have to be very consistent. Don't go on long breaks without posting uh, by just neglecting your channel because, yo, that is so wrong. You have to be very consistent. Post videos. If you post on Monday, make sure that you always post on Monday. If you post on Thursday, make sure you always post on Thursday. So that is just uh, it with YouTube. Uh, you have to be very, very consistent. Be consistent. So you have to be very, very consistent on YouTube if you want to grow. Um, for us, especially who are just starting out, uh, small YouTubers with small subscribers. So if you go on long break, let me say maybe for a, for a month break, your few subscribers are going to forget about you. So you have to keep on posting so that they won't forget about you, so that you can gain even more subscribers. Yes, big YouTubers can take breaks because they're already well known. But for us who are just starting out, yo, it's so difficult. So consistency is the key on YouTube. Make sure that you are very, very consistent so that um, you can be able to grow, you can be able to grow your subscribers. The fifth thing is that you have to be very patient on YouTube. If you are not patient, you're just gonna give up on the way. You're gonna say, no, um, I'm targeting that after uh, uh, two months, I want 
uh, 10,000 subscribers. No, it's impossible. You have to be very patient. Continue to produce uh, great content. Uh, make sure that your video uh, is top quality. Your editing is very nice. People can just enjoy watching you. So that is just it. The sixth thing that I wish I knew is that confidence is the key on YouTube. You have to be very confident. You have to be very confident in front of the camera. Act like you are speaking to an audience that are in front of you. You have to be very, uh, very, very confident. Yes, if you are shy, it's fine. Um, but you have to, you have to show some confidence in front of the video because I, um, I don't think people would love to watch someone who is like. Um, Mm, okay, yes, uh, please, uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, yes, um, please, please leave your comments. No, people want confidence, people want uh, to watch someone who is very confident and yeah, so you have to make sure that you are very confident when you speak in front of the camera. The seventh thing that I wish I knew is that you have to promote your YouTube channel. You have to promote your YouTube channel because people don't know you. People don't know anything about you. So you have to promote your YouTube channel. If you have Facebook, go on Facebook, post, um, ask your, your friends on Facebook to check out your YouTube channel and subscribe. If you have Instagram, post on Instagram, um, encourage your followers to come and check out your YouTube channel, Twitter, the same thing. So you have to continually um, promote your YouTube channel if you are starting out because people don't know you. People don't know anything about you. So you have to go out there and promote yourself just like you're doing with business. Business people always go out there to to, to, to promote their their business is what they do so you have also have to uh take your youtube channel as a business you have to promote your business you have to promote your youtube channel because if you don't promote it nobody will know about you nobody will know about you yes you can get some new subscribers from just strangers that you don't know yes it's still fine but the good thing is that you also have to promote your channel get it out there to people join uh facebook groups there are these groups on, on on facebook small youtubers and just just promote your channel there and you will get some subscribers The eighth thing that I wish I knew is that um, nobody really cares. Nobody really cares. You're just on your own on the YouTube streets. Don't get sad when you're just starting out and people don't want to subscribe to you. People don't want to support your channel. Don't be sad and don't be discouraged. Don't be discouraged when your friends, your family doesn't want to uh, support what you are doing. Just continue being great. Continue producing great content and the right subscribers will come to your channel and they will subscribe and they will always watch your videos so don't give up youtube is a very long journey it's not a competition you are not in competition with anyone just continue being great continue producing great content and one day you will blow up one day your channel will just uh really really grow don't just expect a miracle right away so you just it's all about patience on YouTube. It's all about patience and just um, producing great content. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I really hope that this video was really helpful. If you want to start a YouTube channel, it's not too late. You can just start right now and don't even try to think, um, what will people say? What will people think of me? You can just study if you love uh, videography, you love shooting, then start YouTube. It's never too late and please don't forget to subscribe i'll see you on my next upload bye